Summer is a great time for learning things. Kids will learn how to swim in the summer. You can watch a video on uh, a how to do on YouTube or Google for a house project with us moving. I'm trying to learn different things to do. My next project will be uh, replacing the pump in a small water fountain in the backyard. That should be fun. Uh, but there's things we can learn to do. Right now, my youngest son is doing driving lessons, taking driving lessons so he can get ready for his driver's test and getting his first driver's license. That very exciting moment for a teenager and that very nerve-wracking moment for a parent. But summer can be a time of learning. And we have that adage, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, I hope that's not true of us as believers, that you can't teach an older disciple, someone who's walked with Jesus a while, new things. I hope there's lessons we're learning, things we're picking up on, that our ears are alert to the Holy Spirit's voice, that our eyes are attuned to walking by faith and not by sight, that that our reading God's word, we would words would come off the page, scriptures would hold a greater place of emphasis, of foundation, anchor of hope. Uh, we're holding on to a promise that we believe that even though we can't see it, even though it, the math isn't adding up, that God's word is informing us, encouraging us, and directing us forward. Um, I want to be a person that's a learner. I want to keep learning. The Bible says in Proverbs 1, verse 5, let the wise listen and add to their learning and let the discerning get guidance. I like that. Let the let the wise listen and add to the, their learning. Maybe that's why the wise are wise, is because they're willing to add to their learning. In 2 Peter 1, Peter says you want to be sure to add to your faith goodness, to your goodness self-control. You want to add kindness. You want to add love. You want to add patience. And he, we need to be adding things in our faith. We don't want to simply check out, clock out, say, I've learned it all. I know it all. I don't need anything more. I want to be a person that continues to learn. And I think the, the starting place for learning is to lean on Jesus. Jesus said in John 15, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who remains with me or abides in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. We need to, to, to accept Jesus' invitation to learn. He says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. You know, often we want Jesus to take stuff from our life, but he actually wants us to take something from his life. He wants us to take his yoke and learn from him. So let's be open to learning something this summer. In the summer, we've always as a church done a, ser a book focus, a letter focus, either Old Testament or New Testament. And we go through that whole summer studying one letter or one book in the Bible because we just want to learn. We want to grow. And I want to encourage you, ask the Holy Spirit, pray, and ask God to reveal to you where you need to grow where you need something you need to learn. Maybe it's learning how to have more patience with certain types of people. Maybe it's learning how to share your faith to someone. Maybe it's learning how to better manage your time and your responsibilities. Maybe it's learning to have a better set of priorities like going to church and spending time with family, uh, different things that we could do. What are the things that God wants you to learn in this season? Let's not dismiss the fact that there aren't things we can gain and there aren't things we can learn. So I want to encourage you, be a learner. Be a lifelong learner. Be a Jesus learner. Be a, be a kingdom learner. Allow Jesus to teach you. Allow the Holy Spirit to teach you things for this season that he wants you to know and do and grow in and increase. He has things he wants us to learn. How to learn to be a cheerful giver. How to learn to pray without ceasing. How to learn to love those who are difficult. Love our enemies. To learn to put our trust in God even when there's no evidence that we can see with our physical eyes. Let's learn and let's lean on Jesus.